Next news is out of Indonesia. Indonesia raises minimum age for brides to end child marriage. Indonesia was uh, one of the biggest countries in the world, ranking number one for child brides. Um, and it's also the world's biggest Muslim majority country. Hmm. So uh, for them to, in parliament, revise the country's marriage laws to lift the minimum age to which a woman can marry uh, to 19, I think is just uh, a huge step forward for them. Before this change, uh, the law said that a girl can get married at 16 or, you know, even younger with no age limit at all if the parents consented. So if a parent consented to let their six, seven, eight year old get married, uh, that was perfectly acceptable per Indonesia's law before. Um, and now they're saying that she has to be 19. The deal was, was they actually wanted to make it 21. Um, because they said that's a time when people are more economically sound uh, and more mature. All right, but, now, they, uh, now, that's, now they're getting to... Okay, first of all... Two, so, 19. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, okay, but the 7 or 8 stuff, that's the stuff that you have to deal with. 16 is... 16, many European countries have it at 16. Mm -hmm. So, was it 16 before and they're raising it to 19? Well, it was 16 and below. So like if, okay, if that a child be, that on their own below that below thing is a problem, not the sixteen itself, and I think it might backfire on them if they if you know, they should have just said okay you know what it's sixteen and sixteen and above because now if they're going to nineteen, now I don't know a lot of a lot of people might I don't know maybe it backfires on, on them, but but wait is this law also for every province? Like all the, the that which what was that very very religious province in Indonesia where everything seems is it to be... Jakarta? No 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 it's no that's the no that's actually the least place. The uh, I forgot there was a province that it seems like to be more Sharia than the rest of Indonesia, are uh, and they seem to have laws differently from the rest of Indonesia. Is this going to be enforced um, on them as uh, as well? Like this all of Indonesia, right? Because this is it is this is for all of Indonesia. Um, now, if they're going, uh, how strict they're going to be about it is beyond me. Oh, um, but Har Harris Sultan is in the live chat, by the way. Hi, Harris, and he's saying, oh, hi. and he's saying Germany has it at fifteen. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. I think nineteen, nineteen. Are are we talking about fifteen being the 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 legal age to marry or just to consent to sex? Oh, okay. That's a good point. Curious. That's a good so, point. Uh, because the, the reason why I agree with someone being 18 or 19 before they can get married is because mar a marriage is entering into a contract. Right, right, right. right. Ooh, sure, I believe yeah. 16, 15 year olds, they can they can have sex um, and they can consent to that. I, I believe that that's fine. It's just, it's, it's you know, you're signing a contract here. So, right, um, right, right. right. So, and in, does Indonesia recognize that people can have sex before marriage, or is that illegal? Oh, that's illegal. Indonesia. Okay, so if in a country where sex before marriage is illegal, I think the age of marriage should be a little bit lower. Do you know what I mean? Well, Harris Sultan said it's to marry, so that that's interesting to me that, you know, right. because in, in America, if it were that way, then... They could sign into a contract to get married, but they couldn't sign into a contract to, say, like, rent their own apartment. So, <laughs> I don't know. That's that's interesting to me. Right. Um, okay. A lot of people saying, Lillian is saying yes to 15. So, yeah, people want, I think, yeah, I think, I don't know, 15 might be, a, I don't know, actually, I don't know what the law. By the way, if people that say, oh, I think it should be 15, it should be 16, and I'm guilty of that as well, some sort of like, I don't know what, I, th uh, I think it should be this age or that age. I don't think people like us should be able to decide what the right number is. I really do think, like, it has to be based on people that understand, you know, mental health, you know, professionals, biologists, uh, you know, I don't know, doctor, somebody that actually could understand, you know, people that do uh, analysis of statistics, you know, studying how other, how relationship worked out in countries that had it at 15 compared to, you know, countries that had it at 19. I don't think like it should be like, well, I feel like a 15 year old girl is ready or I think no it's, they're not ready until 19 or 25. You know, these things shouldn't be based on 
what we feel like or it shouldn't be based on guesses right i think this is a this is something that requires uh professionals and scientists and statisticians and stuff like that right uh, while I absolutely agree with you, I think that it is important still for people who aren't trained um, in psychology and biology and everything else to give their opinions from a social perspective, because um, that's that's still important too. Um, right. But you know, I don't yeah, know. I mean, I, of course, they can give their opinion. Um, but just, I, I just I'm think just... I think that the debate in and of itself is good, uh, not just leave it up to right. leaders, but you know, no, yeah, I mean, okay. But at the end of the day, this should be a democratic decision based on, like, the popular opinion is that it should be 16, so let's go with that. I really do think that this should be a more of a scientific discussion rather than a, uh, yeah. But yeah, of course, people should be able to give their opinion. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.